part of me wants to say 2-1 just because I want to give Fury that chance yeah. for the glory, but this is a very hard task for them as it will be for all the teams involved. All the underdogs will need to try to get their wins on the board as they get to the pistol and Grim draws first blood knock and current match day. Grary backed up towards the arch side here on the A site, arch on the site itself. Great clicks to the head, finds Grim with the trade back, but doesn't hold on forever. Team Liquid can overwhelm, get to the site and get the bomb plant. Yeah, Vinny just trying to tap through that Moto Smoker for Team Liquid. They've got themselves in a great post planting position. And even for Stewie, this one kill onto Long could be everything. And Glock standing by, right? It's like facing against the Furious side. Grary's making a lot of noise for this. And Stewie finally strikes back, but Grary gets the kill. So, three on three. They've wasted a fair amount of time here on the Liquid Defensive. And if they continue to hold them back, then this should be enough. Gary tagged a 20 minute to 70 points of HP. Okay, Serato's looking for his opportunity to swing. And Alige just gets that headshot in. Knows exactly where Vinny is. He's trying to press the issue. Get the headshot on Nap. It's not going to happen. Gary's got it all to do. And it's too much for him to handle. With no one on long side, you've got to wonder how this crossfire is going to develop up and short. Face into the T side, smokes on for Yuri, sees them all coming, can't get the player on the site. Gary can, Alish trades him back, Yuri lines up two, Fallen takes it to 2v2, and the bomb goes down at the shutter doors, the retake is on for Furia. I think that kit was dropped ahead of the haystack as well, so they can also grab a little bit extra time if they can just overextend the site. We'll have to get the kills on Elysian Fallen fall in regardless. Boost up as case of have been seen. You'll see Elysian, you'll get that headshot, so it's all in the MAC-10. An all-Brazilian round in the 1v2. Deagle out, swings on, and case Serato domes him. Art gets on the defuses. case Serato looks for the kit in the AKs. One player at Sandbags playing anti-flash. Oh, his head's been seen. He baits in the shot from Art and Legion. They're not ready for the Mac 10. Awkward sprays come together for Vinny regardless. And Naf gets that trade back. Has the AK now to work with. But up against the AWP, Art knows it's coming sometime. And still Naf can get that trade. Secondary kill back for him. No further than that. So far, force forward, and Grim has absolutely no idea. If he hard checks it, that might be worth it. The M4 could catch two frags instead. They do hard check it, but still he gets his headshot. At least there with a trade. Our rotations are going to be slow out from the B side. Now might even be able to catch off A. This could bring the bomb back, and now Fury is starting to get scrambled. Still got two players over on that B side, and Elise will start rotating out. Further utility put up by Naf might indicate that it is going to be the A site hit. So Case Serato is going to go ahead and join Art here. Orp towards site, firing away, giving up his position. So Naf could find a backstab if he can catch Case Serato at the right timing here. AK sees him instead, and he doesn't even check the arches. So now Elise in the 1v3. As the bomb on his back, smoke still up against the AWP, so can go for a safe default plant. But that might be everything he gets in this round. Yeah, Art walking forward. Bomb plant's gonna be the extra cash injection. Take the fight out from Lively. Needs to adjust back over to what? the Opa, And now gets it back to a 1v1. No way, Elish. 2 HP for him. He's got to get a perfect tap on Yuri's head. He sees him! Oh, he's done it! Quadra out for Elish. You highlighted him for good reason, and that's the reason right there. Force up, Art into position. Sinieri's and Smoke Stewie so close. The flick's not good enough. Kill comes in easy for the T side, and still Stewie gets aggressive with the Smoke. The Smoke criminal himself, but doesn't go so far as a triple. Okay, Serato gets his trade in and keeps things under control for the most part. It's still Liquid with the advantage. A peek back in towards the short position for and set with the up oh, on angle, gets it. Now leaves it on Yuri as the last man to the site. Can he hold off against the entire T forces? Honestly, I don't think so. Uh, great patience to come through from Liquid, just slow it down after the early chaos out from Banana. Yuri gets away with one kill, put a smoke down, and the rotation just isn't coming at all. Kesarada's going to be able to hold onto a weapon that gets dropped in top Banana, so at least there's something being saved forward into the next round. And for Liquid, now they're starting to gather room. Now they're starting to gather momentum. They enable this particular round to come together. They've seen the head of the first man. Fallen, however, takes the orphan straight up. Jewel, a crack angle pass. Broken will get K Serato. Yuri falls to the after the leg shot's hoping to get landed by the sniper rifles. Unfortunately, it won't be anything else. The kills are pouring in for Liquid. And when you think about Furia, their edge, their advantage in this matchup could be the Orb v Orb Jewels. And so far, Fallen has just been decimating the Orb v Orb Jewels. Furia have not been able to find much success at all. Gary at the back of the B-side just going to hope to try and do anything. Raven catches Gary, Vinny, all alone. Then he got out. Basically, again, hoping something over on this B-side as the T-side players swarm A, knowing that the last CT player is well out of position. Get that plant down to see if Vinny can get the exit. Not going to happen. Yeah, I've got to wonder, are they just going to flash him off from that one flash that they've got from Stewie or just try and jiggle peek? Oh, it's 
the flash. Second one comes in. Cindy is back now. Tries to damage up the player here at the Shire. And then Paul's got to start swinging. AKK Serato goes massive again. Naf there with a trade. But now he's the last man standing. Orp in his hands, getting back to Dark. And now looking for the last two Furia players, both coming in from CT Spawn. Keiserato may have just done enough, may have become the hero. It's all up to his teammates to finish the job. Is there another clutch in this man? Set back up here, waiting for the Diffuser to get tapped. And Furia having kits, no util, no info that they can gain. The wall is now for the swing out. Lands his shot on Gary. And Yuri's got to hunt for the kill real quick. He's taking his time with this, not giving up the info, but that might lead towards Nap's victory. And indeed, he gets his own triple to win the round for Liquid. M4's in, AWP's out, wallbangs attempted as Yuri tries to dive down into the apartment's entrance. Great flash in from Gary, but Nap is so ready for it. Still catches the headshot, evades most of the blindness. And Vinny caught by Stewie's peak. Blind is anything as well, dry as anything. 5v3, K Serato, top of the boot, Stewie read this. Not quite, it's okay, Serato can get a trade, but his backup is so far away and he's got to hold off against everyone from Liquid. It's just not going to happen. Yeah, both players up on the A side. Even rotations is going to be slow. Naf making his way forward. Hasn't been able to see the short players as of yet, making the noise. AWP is going to return, and Furia, well, they've got to go for it. Making a lot of noise to this. They should be realizing soon this is all going to be a banana take. Fallen set on the fountain. Time is run short. Team Liquid holding it off. Fallen does go down, but it's all for enough time here. Gary call back of a spray. Elise makes it a 2K, and Liquid make it 11 rounds at the turn of the T side with their CT half after the break. The Stewie has the defender over on that B site. Smokes on the cross and coffins, and they have got Naf pretty close to position to allow him to cross five from the CT spawn. It's all going to rest on the execution base as they all make their way in. Furia heads back, turns towards the back of the site. Flash bangs in when the CT forces and keeps Stewie at bay for now. Gets the shot in on Gary and opens up the half with a headshot. And a second. Peeking at the Yuri, seeing that bomb on his back here. Desperate for the kill, and he comes up with a triple. Grim now swinging up with a fallen and a liege. And combined forces to get 12 to the board of the CT. Side. Scout of Fallen may have already seen him. Grim just waiting for contact. Uh, good looking crossfire on this CT side out with brackets. And Fury, they want to take it quite dry. Naf does swing out, and so do the rest of the CTs to gain themselves a 4v3 and force Fury to take Banana and lean over to the B side. Yeah, one kill with the SMG means bonus money in this bonus round for Liquid. Flashes into the CT side as Stewie's for Mars now takes point on the defensive. Elige backed up a CT spawn. Great flash in for him to allow Stewie to get the kill and the dig down on K Serato. Gary caught with the bomb out. K Serato dead to rights to the hands of the AUG. Triple up for Elige. AK's recovered and all. Hell of a bonus round for Liquid. 14 4. Well, half by from Fury almost guarantees at least a 15 4. Oh, nade stacks. Easy for Stewie. Gary caught first, Curie caught second, Art can trade it at least with a MAC-10. And now, should be easy pickup for him, his teammate's gonna wrap him with the backstab, even the spray through the smoke, you just can't stop this liquid side, no matter what you do. AK in the hands of Keiserato, but his MAC-10 caught off by Naf, continues to spray as Keiserato can land a secondary kill for his team, but it doesn't even last that much longer, Naf with a train. And it will be a map point for liquid, this one could be over real quick. Must be encouraging for NIP as well, knowing that Fury are the main team that stands between them and the playoff position. Great shots in the Vinny fall and can trade it very quickly. Of course, over on that mainstream, NIP are up 11 to 9 against Gambit on Ancient. So they're currently doing a decent job of holding their own chances. Fury, the same cannot be said for them. Two for one trade, Liquid. Only three more frags, two more frags away from the victory here. And Gary and Yuri just should just get shot out of this. Uh, you'd have to imagine so. Fallen with the orb. He's still aggressing. He wants more. Imagine. Oh, not looking good for Gary. Four frags for Fallen. Imagine him making it the ace. Yuri. AK backed up in the mid control and Fallen to close it in such a great fashion. He can't see his man. Has no idea just yet. All a case of timing. Will he really rest the man? Yes, he will. Take some damage. Does not take the shot back. And it will be Grim instead to steal the ace. But get the 16 to 4 for Liquid. What a dominating map to open up the series. Into the pistol round, Liquid will be up on the CT side to start things off. Furia 
There's a half that could win you this particular map up. It would be the T-half. So let's see them press forward onto Dawn and try and get this opening start up for their own right. They lost the pistol in the previous map up. Let's see whether this one will be the contrary. Stewie trying to look for that first frag. One player with his back turn. Case right on you those two kills that he's holding back from the back lines. Gets one frag. A goosh on towards on a second player, but not enough to get the kill towards him. So Case Rato can triple up overall. And now he'll be left in a one versus four. A very easy time at all. Two wins and nine losses when they've been able to lose pistol and win that second round. Garage entrance, hoping that someone makes their way out past the red box. He does land a tag on Yuri. Great timing, great shot, great stuff so far. Not going to continue his way forward here, try and catch this player off. Meanwhile, walk out towards Ram. Going to give Nath a bit of a kill in the first man and that second. Okay, hold on. Forcing best going well to get the man advantage. Trades involved for Case Serato, but his teammates are so low and Art's going to fall for it. And leave. Now looking for the bomb carrier and he gets it as well. Oh no. You talk about how the conversions have looked awkward for Liquid, but they look fantastic in this one. You start to wonder what the balance is going to be like for Liquid moving forward. Fury with another quick play. This time Stewie's caught off guard. Art with the kill. Burns a little bit. Damage done to Vinny in the back lines. Grim catches Art back to four versus four and finds Keiserato and Vinny. All sorts of bad fire kills. A quadra and ace for Grim. The Reaper's alive as Liquid gained four. Now, with that smoke going down, he now knows that he's got ramp all to himself. He just spotted one player out from Ben, deals with him straight away. That's one frag. Flashing out a closed vent. So I'm going to force his players back into a position. A flashbang timed well from Gary. That was Vinny. Two kills on the side. Not still aware of a series position, so he trades it to a three versus three. Looks back at Marshmallow with smoke back down. Yuri could get caught. Footsteps heard as the orb of Fallen starts firing through that smoke. Can't get a secondary pick. Oh, Stewie's actually going back up to the top of heart. You wonder if Yuri are going to start checking this again. They don't have a molly to put it down. And for Liquid, they might start driving them away out for a vent dive or into ramp. And he made noise on the drop down. He did not make noise for the reef face. Gary stuck him behind them, though. How's he done that? No ideas at all. And just like that, the whole round falls apart for Liquid. Knife's in headshot, and it seems like that backstab. It's gotten Fury of their seconds. So positional advantage in this round, not even we saw it. Now yeah, open up for Fury much earlier in the round and the man advantage for the execution. Grim still held to the back here. Count, they counteract in this time. Not for Gary, at least dropping that bomb. Case Serato is closer. Gets his responsive frag. And now two players up in heaven. Set now with a third player actually on the retake. Krieg sees fallen. Sprayers gets it together. Vinny capitalizes on the second kill as well. Now with one responsive scene up there in the rafters. And Vinny makes it a triple. As Furia find their form again. Second piece in his arsenal. Oh, watching for the gap and a smoke catches Yuri. Now got to reposition because the T's know where he is. But that's the one player out of the gate. Looks on towards open. Bensley, the second player, and catches Vinny as well. 19 picks for Grim at this stage. A triple up in this round. And the bomb can go down to the B side, but it's a 4v2 for Liquid. Now, no one playing on lower. Now's going to be the first point of call in terms of rotating out from ramp. And for Guri and Serato, they need the unthinkable in this 2v4. They do have information, the two players coming over from Secret, so the best that they can guess is the second two players are coming in from the ramp control. Decon's open, double doors open, flashbang evaded. Headshot, barely caught off by Kesarat, a good kill on Grim. Blinded by the second flashbang, catch that second CT. Gary can come in with the flank and will catch on Fallen. That's a big frag alongside Kesarat dealing with Nap. Stewie's got a close down, this decomposition. Back turn towards the next round, 180 flicks, not going to be good enough. And indeed, Furia will find that miracle as they equalize seven apiece. Flash down, flashbang towards closed vents. Okay, Serato, gonna take top of half when you see Stewie. Yes, he will. Tap the head off the shoulders. Back to evens again, but Fallen has other plans. Scout again involved with a headshot dealt with by Yuri. And player in the back of the site is Grim with the FAMAS. He's got it back to the advantage of Liquid. Yuri does get the trade back. Where's the last man? Where is Nav coming in from the ramp control? Did he hear a footstep? Does he just have a good read? 20 seconds either way, he's running out of time. It's back behind the site itself. No info still on Naf's angle. And we'll tap it again. Try force a peak. Ten. Nine. Time's running out. He's got to go for the plant now. Oh, Naf has now got the element of surprise. Can start peeking forward onto the site, Yuri. Which way does he look? Left or right? It all oh. comes down to the timer. Looking back over to the lane. Oh! He jumps off as he sprays. Mouthful up or mouthful down. Liquid are going to make it 8 7 at the turn of the half. And you hate to see it, Jay. <laughs> Absolutely do with that situation. And he's even getting the BM out of there. Getting onto the defuse. Top of mini. 
Outside defaults in mode, trying to get in towards the Hell or a site positions. Grim will force one player off angle as they fire into lockers. Bust open the windows, look for Gary Deckman to find that frag, and eventually they do. Case are on with responsive though, two for one on the trades. Oh, the bomb gets dropped, and Grim's the last one left, and they know exactly where he is, out in that hell position. Bomb with the lower bomb site means that Grim's got to try and win a 1v4. Surely it must be impossible. We get some one frag at the very least. And as great as he's been so far on eight points of health, you must imagine, this probably doesn't come together. Indeed, Yuri shuts him down, and it will be eight for the pistol round for Furia. They made noise on the ladder, so they realized that Liquid have gone back upstairs. They may be playing towards the outside position. Art's got a USP, which might not be the best weapon here, even if he is up against the anti-eco and the lack of Kevlar is involved in the T-side line. One player is to be jumps right in like Batman in case of Art still cleans up with a triple and a quadra. Three kills of the SMG and a lead gain now for Furia. In the lobby control, will they go to A? It looks like they might do. And Lee's starting to pop his head out of the door. Look in for Vinny in the back. Does get a dig against his name. Look on the second player. It's not quite as lucky for the second kill. Naf now being aggressed by Kay Serato. Just sprays forward of the smoke. Big gap in that smoke for the AK to utilize. And Naf has no idea. Simple now to drop the bomb. Continue to spray back the Stewie 2K. As Kay Serato gets his own 2K. And Grim, well, left with it all to do here. As great as he's been, it's still too much. So far, untraded and unscathed, and the right rifles are coming at the right time. Backbang's back in. Ah, what more can he get? Land on Fallen. Try look for Grim. He's a little bit too late to risk back in. But Yuri catches Nap on the upstairs. Now it's down to the downstairs. Players, and Gary still gets caught. So, 3v2, rifles to play with for Furia. The bomb plant will come in for Fallen. Yeah, he's going to go quite aggressive, knowing that he's on 20 points of health. It's going to come down to Grim to just be able to bait the crossfire, and there's a lot of footsteps being heard out at Ram. Yeah, Fallen Soul will be in, so he knows that there's three sets, he knows that there's three players out here, so Grim can start taking face. C1 player, awkward spray comes up, good for his 3k. That's going to have to ace clutch this once again, he's got high HP, cannot see Vinny. Kits on him, bombing the open, he sprays forward! Oh, the kill is not coming on the first player, let alone the transfer to the second. 1v3 was a bit too far. Nades up, flashes over, Elish. Playing into the outside, Stewie caught off by Yuri again towards the outside control. Brilliant stuff to deal with these outside aggressive players from Liquid. No trades involved with the T-side. He's going to get quite far up forward in this, but Yuri still gets his pick. Two kills found. Uh, that should have been a trade back for Elige, and Yuri just holds his ground. Gary with the orb out from ramp. Could get overwhelmed by a couple of players. Deals with that first player, Grim. And Fury off. They looks like they're going to speed their way onto 13. Fallen gets a trade outside, but he's going to get swung on from Garage, and everything's falling apart. Nap gets one kill. No more than that. Tries to get one more back on Vinny with a face out, but... Got to watch those other entryways in Mini in the hut position, which means it's basically... All players need to hold their own. Molotov will drive Kesarato off of this one for the vent. Dies. Still Nap gets caught with a crossfire. Kesarato credited with the kill. Falling with a fire lay back in, but Art still finds his man. And Gary now looks for his own all pick. Sees the one individual. Not quite as great against Grim. Hears him coming. Flicks back. USP against Ring of Ring of Roses. Grim can get that kill. They now know where he is, and they know where Stewie must be as well. Smoke to give a bit of cover. Stewie going to start working in from the observation window. Art in the corner, he's got to land the perfect opening kills, and that's got to be it. Sees Grim, gets his frag, where's Stewie? Right above him, little does he know. Drop in, the AK can get a frag back and get the bomb plant. Her rotation's coming in quickly out for the vents and out from Ram. Stewie's going to get the bomb down, so at least he's got that much. Needs to isolate the fights and takes it straight away onto Vinny. Can't quite win out. Fury getting up to 15. Doing a decent enough job so far at keeping CTs at bay. Yeah, Art just scanning, trying to wait for the smoke to bloom, and oh my goodness, that's the bomb getting dropped. That's the best that they could ask for. Oh, tap from Fallen to come back against Yuri, however, clap back to a 4v4. Gapping out smoke to work with Art and K Serato, gonna cross fire and deal with Fallen and Elige. Stewie and Nav bombing the open, seeing the player behind Blue Bomb, can't get attached towards him, just burst fire and damage being done, and Art can swing out to close it. The final kill goes the way of Furia, the final round goes the way of Furia. 16 10 as they take us to third map. Fury are fighting for the playoffs as Liquid fight to keep them away from the top 12 position. It's Pistols that glocks out into the early start. The Fury are on the T side half, and Stewie and Elise want to press the issue right down in towards underpass. Is where the majority of Fury players are at. They're caught with their backs turned. Case Serato can get that first frag. Elise struggling to get the two frags back, and Yuri and Vinny can chime in. All of a sudden, Fallen is the last man standing. 1v4.
to, it was just going to come down to who's going to make the mistake first in underpass. And it seemed as if Team Liquid just got caught flat-footed, trying to retreat for Stewie, and everything falling apart. Vinny getting a couple of kills with that P250, and Fallen, there's a wrap in from that left-hand side. That starts clearing the angle, but Art on the other side is going to win out the duel. Fury are putting another pistol round up for them, and Liquid... Particularly to the back of Rusi, and of course ahead of the Arches. That's sure. Flashes in. AWP completely blinded. Gary gets that kill against him. Naf can't get two to respond. Bomb drops. Looking for Art and Yuri. Sees the shoulder of the AK. And Lee just taking position back on the site itself. Yuri still gets that kill, but Naf makes it a triple. On for the quadra. Jumps out of the way. And does find his 4K. Hold on the B site for the pistol. The rifles, I should say, for Liquid. Aries going to throw those flashes over the apartments. More probably force fallen off Gango. I don't think any of those flashes are going to catch, catch Nap, however. Yep, kept away. High behind the box. Pistols close. Great deal with the first man. Comes up with the second. case. Okay, does get that trade back and win the fight against Fallen. Okay, Bomb's going to go down. So there's Bunny Bonus at least. And a 2v2 scenario for Furia. Uh, this is very winnable. Stewie just trying to work in with his teammate out from this market position. Both of them have got AKs. The back's a turn to market. Stewie's being very silent. Gary. Gun barrel's going to stick out the right-hand side. Oh, they're going to insert themselves in. Gary's been seen. Spray forward. The Orcs have dragged forward it. But Grim gets those two frags to return. So they just hold on to the clutch. Furia trying to set in the set piece towards the ace site. Are they going to allow a line in the connector to allow Art to split in? Stewie's going to jump face out, and that's a mistake. All his bullets going completely off center. Incendiary is on a lead with the nades. Also trying to see if he can find Art in the trade back, but so much, so far, so little gained by his utility set. Vinny tagged up. AWP have fallen. Can't land his shot. Vinny gets both the kills against him and Grim. Now for the responsive finding as a kill for Liquid, but it'll still be a 4v2 and a lead being challenged with 15 points of HP. Now has got to come in support. We'll get another kill and another kill. Three kills to his name but not enough to win the round still orbs in the short may have been seen by the likes of fallen to be on site he's got to get a couple of good frags in he almost lined them up a dink onto case serata tagging into 14. player in palace undetected you can see the bomb carrier here no yuri checks it just at the right moment falling with one last chance another bomb plant he's got it in there's still a little bit of time elige 10 seconds of his own right someone's gonna get that plant back together here on default elige he's gonna do it he's got it in nas gonna stay alive that's gonna be enough for liquid and indeed the pressure will get to fury on this day Oh my goodness, what a hold coming out from a lead from CT. Oh, you can't let pressure get to you now, boys. It's playoff standing on the line. Kesarata, however, swinging back in confidence. A fantastic kill on Grim to open things up on the A side. The play's coming out, his teammates coming in from mid. The AWP is Stewie. Can respond, get it back to a four versus four. Fallen falls on site. Stewie's still a known entity, gonna reface this. And the AWP can't find anything. But he's AK, transfers the spray, and Art comes in with support. And just like that, Furia, what pressure, what cracks. Don't see any of them in this round. We have seen monster CT halves from them in both match of Mirage played in this group. This is the first time it hasn't been a Monster CT half. It can't be. AK in for a lead and he returns the favor to the one tap against Art. Grim follows suit on Yuri and now Furia just walking out into open sights without much utility support, dry facing and falling apart for it. Grim ahead of the smoke, slight gap there. Gary's gonna go for a plant on default. He sees Vinny, he doesn't see Gary. Kesarato, hey, top of the danger box, still gonna end up falling as Grim goes for a triple. You can only get a triple. And Kesarato now on for the ace clutch. Sees Elise, but Elise drops in and drops him. Grim now gonna have to call in some support. He's gonna hide back behind the ticket booth. The smoke's on connect the jungle and stairs will suppress the players in on the rotations. Grim swinging out, how's that bomb getting tapped? We'll catch Gary with his back turn, his teammate right behind him, but Rap can get those trades. It's back and forth, all sorts of frags pouring all over the place. But Vinny now becomes the lone man standing. Flash in against him, will keep him blinded. Gets up high, which would be contrary to most logical sense, but fortunately for him, the CT player is not there and the orb cannot be seen. Now he can be seen. Bomb plant will be secured, fallen. Tapping forward to the wall bangs, Flash turned away from as well. Both players are going to come in from CT. Well, they hear the footsteps, backs turned away, shots racing out, and Fallen will connect it in the end. So Liquid will end on a positive note. Furia will have the half, but it's 8-7 at the turn. The Brazilians in the lead. Can they keep it? Find out after the break. For Liquid, there yeah. is that presence over to the B side of the map. It could just be a quick commitment, just fly out from the apartments. 
One smoke was missed, though, to set up my costume here. Back into the back lines, Gary is tapping forward, missing all of his shots. Connects that foot kill on towards uh, Elise at least. Grim comes up against Vinny, chase it back in for Gl Gary to get a second kill. Looking for Grim next, but unfortunately, it's too much for him. Yuri makes his way ahead, drops the bomb, drops Fallen as well. And Nap stands back at bench with it all to do in a 1v3 clutch. Yeah, difficult position for him to be in and without any armor too. Bomb control down for the CTs and they just don't need a fight. Play the 3v1, know exactly where Nap is, work together on this. Taps on, continuing to come out from Nap, sees the player out towards the corner, but Yuri ends up with a triple. The A split from the Liquid camp, Stewie in connector, the other four players in from ramp. And Palace two split a piece. Case Serato and Art here. Awkward crossfire. Case Serato gets his kill. Art can trade it. Case Serato doubles up onto Grim. Trying to swap out to the AK here for Case Serato's party suppressed in a corner. And Liege can deal with the AWP. Cannot deal with the second player at dark. And Case Serato makes it a triple as Fury again the all importance. But because we haven't seen the B execs, we haven't seen that play coming out. And for Liquid, it's going to be the commitment. Spray still on Vinny, smoke it, ready to drive by, a little bit of breathing room, try to look for Grim, great strike back, looking for a bit more in the apartments, his backup has also arrived, Stewie spotted, Gary strikes, can't get a second player, the defuse kit drops and Fallen can trade on him, three on three, Vinny needs support and he needs it now, they're coming in from Market, first player on the way back as Yuri gets dropped, but still Vinny holds the 2k and the 3k, USP out against Nap, doing all the damage in the world, dinks and all, 18 points of health, he can trade him, but now he's got to deal with Kay Serato, the star, the man, Man. He made an element for Furia. AK set towards the market door. He knows that Naf is suppressed, waiting for an opportunity with the AK. And he wins it. No bomb plant bolster for Liquid. And that's massive for Furia. Having been in tune with your opponent's moves, I say that, Elise, though. It'll just go for the tink, it'll just go for the burst fire. Get that kill on Yuri. I thought he was going for knife kills. Art can get a couple of trades alongside K Serato. So, despite the flight, despite the unchecked position for Liquid, the lockdown still comes in. A 4K for Art. Find their own individuals. Three rounds for Liquid to make up. Plays in for Grimm. Sees Vinny. Gets his frag. Gary with the Nova. Molotov goes back to Van. Is there one close? No, there's not. And Grimm's going to fall for it. One frag. Two frags. Can't quite get the triple. The Leeds turns it back. The taps fall to the AK. Yuri's going to get the trade. Three on two still. Liquid have a chance. But Fallen's got a force to issue. He's all alone. Making noise. Waiting for Stewie to rotate in from short. He'll get here. Yuri's accounted for it. And he's found the frag. It's Fallen to fall into the side drop the likes of yuri bring him back down with him get that bomb potential nade onto his position it doesn't get the kill it allows the plant uh, get the extra cash injection where does he go from there 17 XP and he just gets spammed through the smoke and you'd have to say that may be the biggest round or the biggest play we've seen for gurry all best of three so far could catch Case Serato with utility in his hand and look towards Art. And on his lonesome, he might force the rotation back for Liquid. No one's left to this A site. And look at Furia. They're already pushing apartments. They're already looking to save. Despite their successes, they're still going to push the bomb in. And Vinny can still shut it down. He's all on his lonesome. Surely he doesn't clutch it like this. Oh, there's so much time. That's the problem, is there's so much time to try and play with. And for Liquid, they can compose themselves. Get into market, get into good positions. Looking to take a duel straight away up for the market position. Oh, now God. Falls, and Vinny gets another. No way. Smoke, flash, M4 looking to face the player towards the outside. Stewie, Vinny doing great. Ice lane all these 1v1s, but he just can't hold it together. A fantastic 3k. Here they come, Liquid. But what could be enough? Art finds the bomb carrier. Grim to drop. Smokes to get a bit of cover. Sprays through for now. Trying to get Case Serato. Case Serato will get found by a liege. 4v4. Still Yuri. Wait to firebox and fall and checks it. Art suppressed. Needs backup. And desperately so. Hearing footsteps all up in a sight. Can't catch Fallen. And another scrub's good enough. And Stewie continues with his mid lurk to secure it for Furia. To save the weapon for Vinny. Liquid to 14 now. They still get shotguns, they still get Vermartis. Gary's XM did wonders up in the apartments, sir. Defensive. Part of the reason my Fury are here in the first place on match point. Or in of art as well. Catches a liege. Starts things off on the right foot. Yuri kept away from position over at underpass Stewie. Does he see the man? He has, but Yuri wins the fight. Not like this, Liquid. It's a 5v3. What a five up against an AK in that kind of range. And Ark gets out of there to safety, trying to back up the A defense now. 
Trying to look for the player out of smoke. He's now going to be seen. He looks back in towards Rap, and Nath can find him on the off angle. AK spotted, and Yuri will drop Grim to get his kill. Okay, Serato with a deagle. Nath trades on Vinny, but he's down to two points of health in a 2v2. K Serato trying to look for a gun somewhere. Fallen back at Tetris. There's no second smoke as well for the CT side. That could be everything to them. K Serato, AK in hand, got a swing. Gary's got to get back. K Serato wins that fight. It's all left of the short presence. He sees them both. He catches the one. K Serato to get 31 to try and secure it here for Furia. Got to get on the defuse. Trying to bait in now, but he's dead out of time and he knows it. Liquid have done enough. Furia with five map points and that was not enough. We go to overtime to decide if they play or found. Kind of smokes in the case of with the incendiaries and the nade trying to do some damage to the likes of a legion. Grim will burn quite significantly so. Case Serato leans into the site. When's he going to catch presence? Catch the first player and that second fallen with a responsive. So Furia hold the man advantage. Liquid hold the sights. Uh, they're making some risky early move plays and that's exactly what they need. Pays off for Case Serato, gets away with a couple and now the retakes on. Furia have kits and they have a leash. Vinny. Finds him out in the open. He didn't check out that jungle position. And now Vinny's going to look for the wall banks in against Nap. Fallen's all on default. Going to burn. Still finds a kill, but burns the four points of health. Needs to have a second good shot on towards Arts. Meanwhile, Gary making his way in from CT spawn. Nap gets his frag. Sees Gary as well, burning quite significantly. And Fallen's all still strikes. Looking for the Quadra. And it will be Fury of the Fall. Second of the overtime to Liquid. Oh, this could be a fake. They've got so many opportunities to start scrambling the CTs. Time is running low. Liquid need to start making a play and bring that bomb into A. AUG looks up and Grim catches the kill from 5v3 to 2v3. The bomb can go down here. A connector for Vinny with a wall bang straight to Grim. Stewie's got to try for it again. Will Vinny go for it a second time? They have a different plan. And no go Vinny it. Two kills. That's enough. What a play. Oh my goodness, two wall banks in two different positions. Can't find the frag, unfortunately. Liquid hold the 5v5, the smoke's coming in. Execution time for Furia. But they haven't got the kill out to underpass, but it's drawing the attention over. Finally, they deal with it, and now they can start focusing on the sidewalk. And Grim finds one kill and try to stay alive. Can't try to do this. Oh. He's completely blind by Art's flash. And Art now got the 1v5 for it. His mistake. Head of the... Corner here at short. Contact position. The AK sees the shoulder. Calls it in for his teammates, but win the fight on his lonesome. Now here come the T side. Nap with a secondary kill. K Serato trades on one and Nap still holds. Desperate to keep the B site under liquid dominance. One player drops down. Molotov's in. Player seen. Nap with a double three. Kicks up the out. And Nap with a no scope will snatch the Brazilian dreams. Furia are done. Bold at the last second as it's a 2-1 series.